y'all and we're back with the Waluru fire walkthrough here we are following the horse tracks into the hostage cave in the wobbegong territory 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 all right i look a valencian i told you to get your lousy nice hair these the are lousy my nice hostages hair. and they ain't leaving just cause prince mario says so prince mario says so <sighs> sorry threats boring toadies it wait wait one second is that the, wizard? the wizard the, the wizard? wizard the one my little bros always whining about Luigi de Mario. Luigi de Mario. Pal Mario at your service. Well, I say service. I know, I know. People often go blind basking in my presence. All right. But don't. We've got stuff, honor, and all that. You offended the family Mario on Nova, so I plumbed the depths of a fallen world for doties. Mm hmm. That's us! Huntsman. Spider, not a toady, bruh. That's right. To hunt you down and bring you to me. But they failed, of course. And I hear you already scrapped my theme park venture. No big deal. I'm the hunter of giant ghosts, stepper honor of angry mushroom things, and stomper of thwompers. Stomper of thwompers. The park was just a hobby, I guess. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Dingoes, ranchers. Disruption. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Peasants. Boring. So let's fight. Scion of Bartleby versus champion of House Mario. Legends in the flesh. And yes, when I defeat you, I will sign your gravestone. All right, good luck, Luigi de Mario. De Mario. No, brother. Let me go first next time. <clears throat> All right, Luigi. What you got? Okay. What is that? Devotion? Is that what it's called? All right. Didn't pull my inner chant for my blade. Oh, no shadow spells here. I forgot. I forgot. Well, he's gonna get rid of this. He's gonna like centaur or star spawn. Which doesn't really matter if I hit this turn. Centaur. If he centaurs now, he probably won't use it twice in a row. I use the best power ups. He's in the centaur, bro. He's in a star spawn. Maybe I just take it as a given so I don't attack. I guess I could have killed the minions. Oh, brother. Bruh. I use the best power Bro's gonna, like, one-shot me. <laughs> Actually, blade stacking. Well, he's gonna. I'm gonna get a shadow grip next turn. He's gonna stun me. I wish I went first. Oh, 
Bro has bubble, aura, and fucking... How many blades, how many of these blades are gonna activate? Probably like two. One, two, okay. But two blades, aura, and bubble? Bro. But now he's gonna stun me. Shadow Pips. <clears throat> Hawkwork Spider. Cool, get rid of the life bubble. Actually, was that even. That was a damage bubble, right? Life damage bubble? Or was it just a sank? Bro will not star spawn. Should I just hit then? Because look, now he's in a star spawn, right? Bruh. It'd be annoying. You can also centaur, which is also just as annoying. Do something stupid. Oh my god. Oh, okay. He did he did something stupid. That was actually very stupid. Although he could probably kill me next round. Yeah, maybe if I don't kill him, I'm just dead. Cause that life ain't is big. Oh yeah, he's gonna kill me. <clears throat> I forgot about this too. I forgot he has a cheat against fire wizards. That's GG's. There's no world in which I survived this. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Bruh, okay. <laughs> All right, please. Bruh, okay. New strat. Go blade heavy. Let me go first. <clears throat> All right. I completely forgot about the fire cheats because I was like, oh, this guy, he's not that hard of a fight. But now that I'm a fire wizard, it's a fight. A little bit. What's this? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Big trapper. I want the minion to use the stupid life faint.
Okay, good. I use the best power ups. <clears throat> I hate this guy. Alright, I got a shadow pipe. He can't stun me. Um Yeah, this. Shadow pips. Shadow pips. If he star spawns, it's actually gonna be very annoying. Because apparently, yeah, the fire damage from the overtimes on the star spawn also trigger his cheat. Okay. Big pip dump. I mean, it's still, it's a lot of damage. Is a 40 and a 20 blade? Forty-five and twenty, yeah. Dang. I have the best power ups. Bruh. I don't need that anymore. <clears throat> I think that's good. Two seventy five. Oh, that's so small. I use the best power ups, bruh. I'm scared. I think I pass here because I don't. I don't get a shadow. Right. Well, maybe I faint. He can't use anything that can remove it this round. But he can next round. It means I would have to hit. Unless he uses pips. If he uses pips, I'm good. Okay. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. <laughs> I have to kill him. Oh, wait. no, use a pip. Use the pip, use the pip. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's anything. Bro, if he what if he hits me with like a luminous and I just die? Because <laughs> I have a life fate, I have a life trap, I have a Bro, 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 what is this? Okay, <laughs> something weak. Okay, okay, nice. <laughs> Holy. No, weakness? What is this? Bro, okay, whatever. Okay, he's double fainted now. He can't do anything about it. I use the best power ups. Okay, Luigi, we got you this time. 15 minutes in. Oh, brother. Um, I think I just pop this. I think that's the best. Yeah, this should kill.
Does about what? Fifteen percent more damage than the fire dragon. Base hit. Double faint. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, sorry, that was way too long. But... You bring the fire, I bring the flower. Fire oh, flower. So this is what losing feels like. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Not a bit. Hate this world. Back to Novus then. Rematch soon, yes? Yeah, for sure, brother. Oh, finally, someone's come to free us. We've been uh -huh. living off Marley Might for days. Oh, terrible stuff. It's all right, man. I mean, it is an acquired taste. Now, no. shall, shall we? we? No, you shall, you shall not. You are still hostages, hostages, of hostages of the comic gang, gang until. until... Maddie, is that you? So right, we made a deal. Oh, then you're all free to go. Yippee! Yippee! All right. Here we go. Let's lead him out of here. All right. Let's. See. What the hell is this? Where, where am I? Oh my god. I'm on. I was not on WASD. I was on ESDF. Sorry. I'm. I'm elite. I was using the ESDF. What do you guys know about the ESDF? The QW23. The 23 QW. Ned Colley. Whole group goes you're first. You're under the... arrest. Ned Colley. That I am. That's the deal. Take me back to Hope Springs, Judge. I won't fight. I want me day in court. Mm, we'll see about that. I don't know what you did, Wizard, but it seems I owe you many tars again. Mm -hmm. Hope you know what you're doing, Ned. I'll look after things here and arrange a lawyer. I know one who puts on quite a show. Okay. And you're the driver Ned captured. Quite. Not what you expect, denied wager. Have you made camp yet? Let us go there and I'll tell you my tale. Damn, look, they got disability awareness to put in a Wizard, wheelchair. I'd like to come along. Freddy's still out there and he's kind of my fault. I want to help you stop him. And meet this nothing again, if I can. Hmm. Second wheelchair character in the game, bro. The other one's, what's his name, Abner? I don't know, the guy who's like in every world. Gives you like the spellment and quest stuff. Good representation. John Locke. Right. First things first. My name is Joan Locke of the Royal Marleybone Cane Resort Expedition. Mm. We came here to build a resort, you see. That makes you sound more towny than drover it does doesn't it that's how it started but you see i wanted the authentic wallaroo experience so i did the walkabout mm. not the fake simulation they sell you in cities the real thing i traveled the wastes dug for drops of dream water prepared myself to pass the great barrier and enter the dreaming itself so true was my intent, the drovers let me through. Mm -hmm. And I dreamt. I lived my hopes in an instant and made them true. The reality? Disappointed. That's when my priorities changed. Fascinating. If you two are close with the drovers, might you help us treat with them? We also seek to pass the Great Barrier. The Great Barrier Reef. You seem... Familiar, but yes, it is the least I can do. The drovers are based in the eucalyptus based. forest. Follow me. Follow me. Yeah, will do. Does my truck take me to the eucalyptus forest? Not yet. I think I always check this. It's not until I explore the place. All right, here we go to the eucalyptus forest. Mm. 
Right then. Armor Ned Collie. Arcane Toad. Lips Warriors. Quite the sight, isn't it? This is the home of the Wallaroo Drovers. Those who abandoned corrupt cities not to seize the dream, but protect it. Specifically, to protect this. Mm -hmm. The Pink Lake. The last of the dream waters not trapped beyond the Great Barrier. But where is everyone? This forest is usually a buzz with the Not busy the work of one. rangers and craftspeople. Have you seen anything odd around here, wizard? Perhaps we'd best look around. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Let's take some photos too. One of these won't be a thumbnail. Yes, sir. All right, John Locke. Quite something this like. Not a dried up puddle in the middle of the desert, but the hub of an ecosystem stemming straight from dreams. Hmm. <laughs> By George, what the blinking By blind George. are those? Some sort of monstrous koala. These must be why no one is around. Mm -hmm. I think then someone must show these bounders what for. Have at it, wizard. Bonesbury rules of magical combat. Bonesbury of rules of magical combat, of course. All right, here we go. I'm getting rid of the blade. One blade shall suffice. And then I don't draw it. Okay. Just a little, little farting on me. All right, you uh, eat, you eat the fire dragon. Eat this. W. Hey there, what are you doing? Don't lock. That you? We'll get your friend on over here. Mm, all right, I'm coming. What's up? Hey there, my name's Mo. Mo. That's a play on Morpheus. Morpheus. He's curious, which so marked. I'm the guardian of the dreaming. Or Morp. They had Morg in uh, the Muria. And we got a Morp. I am also the thought leader of the, the peoples of the leader. forest. That means I lead with my thoughts, as you can no doubt tell. Now, who are you? Ah, yep. the, the wizard. wizard. Even way out here, we've heard of the one who walked the reverie. It's a mindscape estuary that True. extends from the dreaming, that is. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that was back in Imperia. Like I said, it's my sacred duty to protect the dreaming. From the townies who would hock it, from the riders who'd unleash it, and from the drop bears who'd... Not quite sure what they want. Those are drop bears? The mythical koalas of legend that leap from the clouds onto their prey? And <laughs> they don't seem very droppy. Well, they were. Then they did. And now there's nowhere to drop, so they don't. Mm. We assume they're after what everyone's after. All right. Follow them up.
Mm -mm, not so fast, Morp. Nope, it's not this way, it's the other way. The Great Barrier. The last defense of the living source of Dreamwater. Mm -hmm. The only thing that shields it from the corruption of the worlds. Safe behind this wall, the dreamer sleeps, imagines, inspires us all. Not a bad job if you can get it. Yes, I do recall. Indeed, it is why we have come. My associates free me from the clutches of Ned Colley. They wish to enter the dreaming. No, sorry. It's great to save John Locke, but we're surrounded by enemies. Not just the drop bears. Worse things, scary things. Ha! <laughs> you missed, you gnarly nitwit. Ooh. Oh, right. They loop back <laughs> around. We've got some extremely moody young people riding around on leggy birds throwing mm, the things emo riders. That's why most of us are in the trees, safe from birds. Mm-hmm. Ranger Jack leapt into action like a rabbit. That's a little jackrabbit humor for you. He's not a <laughs> rabbit, though. He's a kangaroo. No joke there. Bruh. Maybe you can give him a hand, wizard. Can't let anyone pass the Great Barrier with corrupted influences about. All right. I'll do it. I'll do you. Oh. Cannot forget my golden waddle. Golden waddle. All right, Ranger Jack. Listen to the forest. It's subtle. It's but subtle. They're there. But they are there. Ah! Down with the dream stealers. That's the call of the night riders. Mm. They're all around us in the dark waiting. I've sent rangers in. They don't come out. Or they do. But they're not the same as when they entered. They're whimpering, raving about deep red lights. That swoosh. Mm. Go in if you want, but I wouldn't wish that on mm. my worst enemy. And I hate Jill more than anything. She knows what she did. All right, Jack and Jill. Night Riders. God, look who it is. Another ah, strange who face is. come to Dream Steel. Another strange Jokes face come strange to Dream Steel. All, All our dreams, dreams is nightmares, is nightmares and, pain. and pain. And now I use that pain, pain to life steal you. you. Lucky, Lucky you. you. I'll just have, I'll to, just live have to live with it. it. Alright. Here you go, Night Rider. Come and come and steal my dreams and life steal me. All right, a little fire blade. Monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. Alright, Fire Dragon. Bruh. I don't like Headless anymore. Why did they do that? Why did they have Grim Reader? Um, Grim Reader the, the ability, but for like zero pips, compared to Grim, no no shadow pips, bro. This kills over time, right? Like, 
Right, I need to wait all three rounds though. Man, that's a difference, bro. If I, without that weakness, I would have killed. I gotta wait. What is this? What's this? Alright then. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sweet nightmares. Fine, zombie face. Go back to your Fine, empty life face. and think you won. But we are everywhere. Can you find, Can you find us, us all? all? Yeah. Will do. Will do. Sorry. That's a bit of Bonnie Ann for you. Will do. On it. I can know well. Alright. Here we go. Second clearing. I wonder what horrors await us here. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Well, I, I have a feeling. So I have a feeling. I'm feeling. I wrote a, a poem about my feelings. Just like, just it like has no guy. rhymes because rhymes are hard. And, and, um, um, and I don't, and like, I don't you. like you. Forest of dreams. Forest of lies. Forest, forest so, so colorful. colorful. Forest so dark. So dark. Dark, 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 like dark, 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 like my soul. soul. Well, I don't know how to do his voice. You're going to drown in the dreams that you stole. Oh, hey. It just rhymes. It's rhymes. Oh, I'm a must up poet. Must up poet. All right, goth wallabies. Bro, that TC Meteor Strike might come in handy. Might come in handy. Because I'm sending this first round. Okay. Thunderman. I don't do enough, right? Th I mean, 34, 55. It's not that much. Bruh, I am so weak. Why am I so weak? Oh, brother. Alright, well, that's why I bought this. That's why I bought this along. Really? 31 21 with crit? I guess I should have known. I think my Storm Bunyip, Bunyip's Rage did 34.94, which I have more, I have 10% more, at least 10% more damage on my Storm, and its base damage is also quite a bit higher. Like I, I got rid of Storm Lord to put Bunyip's Rage in, because the difference is like. 690 versus 615 at tier 2? Tier 1? Tier, tier... Whatever, first level up? Tier 2? The difference is, um... 75 damage. And then when it's tier... when it's max tier, the difference is 65. I'm going to and write it's a poem two less tips. And this one most definitely won't rhyme me. This one most definitely won't rhyme me. And you can temp next round if you need. Um, what did I do? Oh, I use that. Okay. What? Did I put two in? I did put two in. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> All right. Third clearing. 
Third time's a charm. Do I survive? Yeah. These are not going to be storm. And I'm not going to be a dumbass. This time I'll kill second round. Nine, ten, and you, you again. again. Oh, it's all gotta stop. The wronginess is everywhere. Bro. The wronginess is everyone. We live in a nightmare the olds make. Now they will fighty fight through a nightmare of mine. Okay. Here we go. Let's fighty fight your nightmare. Okay. Looking good as long as they don't headless next turn. Fire Dragon. Oh, they did have this. I heard it. Oh, brother. Can't believe I took that meteor out. Okay, let's do that. Oh, cool. Yeah, get... I mean, absolutely kill me, but... Yeah, get rid of my weakness. Don't kill me. I'm dead. They killed me. No way. What did, what did they use? Oh, Gobbler. <laughs> Bruh. I should not have frenzied. I don't know if Frenzy killed me. Bruh, I have to redo this mob fight? I have to redo this mob fight? Brother. Oh 
No way, bro. Should have just popped the potion. Why? Why don't they let me go first? <laughs> All right, do not headless me. At least the crit on the dropper this time. Long enough. One side sellies, one side lockies. The dreams Dream stuff, stuff don't, don't blow. blow and Waller, Waller returns, returns dead. I don't know what these voices are. The barrier has, has to fall, fall down. down. <laughs> the the dreaming, dreaming has, has to flow and drown, drown us, us all. all. Okay. All right, back to Ranger Jack we go. You face the sluicing ones and leave to tell about it? Mm -hmm. Unexpected. But good job. I thought the emu riders all fled. Seems some stayed. Some adapted. Mm. Indeed, the riders all started here. One day, I went to the Pink Lake to fetch a pail of dream water, and they emerged. The birds. The birds. The young lyricans the young them, rode them to kick at the Great Barrier. And when that got them nowhere, they went elsewhere. Oh, I was not so lucky. In the confusion, I was pushed by Jill. By Jill. I fell down, but that's a personal matter. You should update Morp. I'll be here. Seething. Mm -hmm. Seething. All right, I'll talk to Morp for you. 
or for myself. What's up, Mort? The writers accuse us of stealing dreams. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a fair bit of irony there. They tried to kick down the great Muriel to get to the dreaming. Hmm. It is not an unfamiliar criticism, though. The townies often accuse our lot of having stolen the dreaming already. Big talk from the seas, the dream bunch, but it's not true. They just say that sort of thing whenever they can't make the extra gold coin. Hmm. So they're coping. Really? It's on them. They drain all their resources and why they have nothing more to sell. That's what set the writers off. Okay. I hear it in their heads. Thought leader that I am. Rage. Rage. And also toads. Dreams are weird like that. Hmm. Sometimes there's toads. Okay. And then emus leapt out of the pink lake, followed shortly after by drop bears. Nightmares they are, made real. Hmm. But whose nightmares? And why? Something triggered these events. Something specific. Wizard, catch a drop bear and bring it to camp for study. Dream walking, dream talking. Alright, leveled up. Here they are, the drop bears. First, let's, let's get a fix of a midnight oil. Before we hunt these drop bears. Alright. Now let's get these drop bears. Grr. Dream walking and dream talking. Alright. Fire blade. They can do gobbler me. Alright, fire dragon. That should that should do it. All right. <laughs> okay, to the camp we go. I caught a drop there. Yep, there it is. Ah, Ms. Locke. You intend for our resident thought leader to dreamwalk the creature and discern its origins. I know a tree that can do that. Mm. Yes, it's all very simple and dangerous. Thought leaders ingest the dreaming in our walkabouts to gain our... Wait, do I know you? I... I don't see how. I haven't been to Wallaroo in your lifetime. So, you have been here before. There's an aura about you. Angry and sad. But you guard your thoughts well. Let's hope this beastie doesn't. Mm -hmm. There is rage and theft and trespass. I see the judges. I see frogs and souvenirs. I see nightmares and devils and t-shirts. My word! Frogs, oh, souvenirs, souvenirs, devils, devils and t-shirts? That sounds like my resort! 
Why would a creature from the Pink Lake see that? The same reason you fled it, mate. That place oozes corruption. It warps the dreaming. You brought them here, Joan. Only fear you go kick them out. Mm -hmm. Or go talk to them at any rate. Wizard, would you accompany me? Apologies if Morp seems suspicious, wizard. The drovers are constantly struggling to protect the dreaming from their towny peers. Mm -hmm. They live in fear that somehow if the wrong minds enter the dreaming, the entity that creates it will be corrupted. Suffice to say, I once exemplified that fear. My walkabout inspired me to create a garden paradise in the desert. A haven for any frog. I see. It quickly became any frog who could afford it. Afford it. And that range got narrower and narrower until, well, corruption. As Morp says, the resort is just down this way. Let's go see for ourselves what has become of it. Become of it. A Billabong resort. I see it. Out in the distance over there. All right. All right. This is never gonna be used, but you know. Yeah, look at that. W. All right, let's go. The better bong resort. Right. Nope. You also Joan. Happening here. What is happening here? What are these monsters? Where are the guests? The hosts? Where? Welcome to the Billabongs at Wabagong. My name is Maeve, and I'll be your guide to the best luxury, food, and entertainment Wallaroo has to offer. Let's do it. Yes, dear. I know. I founded the Blasted. Founded by Mr. Kane and Associate. 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 This resort is packed with amenities for the frogs and frogs at heart. Follow me to the back for a tour of our wonderful facilities. All right. No, I just need to know where... Uh, she's gone. Uh, come, wizard. She'll know where to find a judge to explain what's happening here. All right. Thrills and bills. Here we go. Oh, what a dapper young lad. I mean, old lad. Looks pretty old. Oh, golden wow. I'll go, oh, wow. Let me get that real quick. Have it. All right. All right. This way we continue. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Don't mind me passing through. Hello. Sorry. Uh, here I go. All right. Here I am. What's up, hostess? Here, Maeve. you'll find our unique boomerang range. Mm -hmm. It is undergoing a temporary pyrotechnic event. I see. Everything is completely fine. If you say so. Madam, there are literally monsters standing out front. Do you know? Did you know some of the water in Wallaroo helps dreams come true? Yeah. It can one dip in these ponds can inspire art and invention. Okay. Unfortunately, they are currently off limits due to a minor security issue. I see. The monsters, I take it. Yeah, I mean, I saw. But let me show you to our main resort hotel where elegance is on demand. Okay. Is she seriously leading us back out front? Yeah, I don't know why. She didn't talk about it when you were out front, man. Oh, no, I mean, look at these. Uh, are they knocked over over here? Something, something passed through. Hmm. Oops, sorry, ladies. 
coming through. All right. Yeah, there's some weird tracks on the floor over here. Super windy too. Here they go. All right. Hello. You may have noticed the local fauna. Mm -hmm. Fan Tasmanian devils we call the little rascals. Don't worry, they may look scary and ghostly. And yes, there have been malicious complaints from escapees about being swallowed whole. But they're harmless. Escapees? Now, let me show you the luxurious... Enough. Enough of this insipid pageantry. pageantry. I am Joan Locke, your founder and employer. Where is Mr. Kane? Ma'am, I'm afraid Miss Locke ran into the forest to be eaten by penguins. This joke is in very poor taste. There's nothing funny about... Oh, no. 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 Bye-bye, hey, Maeve. Swallowed her whole. Hurry, wizard. There may yet be time to rescue her. All right. I don't know. She's kind of weird, though. I don't know if we want to rescue her. Oh, look at that. A Billabong Resort. Yeah. Snap that. All right. Let's fight some Phantasmanian devils. I think these ones out front are a little easier, maybe. I don't like the moon one. Oh, the moon one is just everywhere. All right, let's get some spot star star, please. Yes, okay. I don't know if I want the star ones either, but maybe the sun ones are the. Actually, these have low health compared to. I'm just yapping. I'm just yapping. Sorry. All right, fire dragon. Bye-bye. Yeah. That was disgusting. Hostess? No, I'm a guest. And I am not paying for this. True. Get out of here. All right, I don't want to pull a moon once. I'm going to pull a moon one. I'm going to pull a moon one. There's going to be a moon one in this fight. No, oh, brother. Better not gin me or whatever. Fuck. 6,800 health, bro. Who? Who told you this is okay? Yeah. So. I'll pull your bright one. Let me show you the light. Why was that zero pips? So can they gin me? Or is it nine pips? I don't know. Fire dragon. What's this? What's this? Okay. Straight from Avalon. Okay.
Can't believe I paid a million gold. Million to gold, bro. Monsters. Bro, what is? Yeah, they got money, bro. I can't even hold a million gold. And they're just flaunting it like that. All right, I'll star. Perfect. Yeah, look at me. Five hundred twenty-five thousand. Can't even hold a million. Can't even afford to go here. Well, all right. Did you save me last? Of course yeah. you did. Everybody always saves me last. I mean, I didn't mean to. I need a rest. I did not mean to do that, brother, sister, hostess. What? Yes, it was only three of us that got eaten. You're good. And I quit. W. Quite understandable. Before you do, these creatures, what are they really? Mm -hmm. What are they? They started popping out of the lagoons a while ago. We were told to ignore them and that anyone who was eaten should have been less tasty. True. Just be less tasty. I see. The monsters came from here, not the pink lake. You mentioned those lagoons make dreams come true. They aren't real dream water, are they? Between you and me, no. It's food coloring or dye or something to make them look dreamy. Seems like fraud to me, but that Mr. Kane is yeah, a piece fraud. of work. I see. If you want to find him, talk to the local judges. One's coming out of the hotel now. Me. I'm going back to sweeping chimneys in Regent Square. Mm -hmm. Chimney sweeper. Oh, Judge Rosa! Jolly good. I know you've had a fraught history with the judge's wizard, but she may be our best hope to understand this. Not so, Jolly Rosa. Rosa? Judge Rosa? How close am I to upgrading Phantasmania? 68. That it really matters, but you know. Superior Judge Rosa. That is not what I wanted to do. You are under arrest, wizard. Bruh, what? Get down on your knees, put your hands on your head, dance on one leg, and sing the alphabet backwards. I got you. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B and A. All right, Perhaps you're a welcome. reprieve, Your Honor. In light of the current crisis, I did we it. are here to help. Ms. Locke, I heard you ran off to live in the wilderness. Turns out you were kidnapped by wizards. No wazzers. No wazzers. I have grenades. No, 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 they rescued me. We came to investigate an infestation of drop bears in the eucalyptus forest. Seems you have similar problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've problems, all right. Beasties crawled out of the lagoons and started eating people. Nasty things don't kaboom like they should. I see. And I take it my old compatriot, Mr. Kane, is securely hunkered down somewhere? How can we help? Hmm, fine. I've got the boring job. <laughs> Protecting the civvies. 
You help Judges Nelson and Lawless lock down the back area. All right. El cops, bro. Here we go to Judge Nelson. Hello, Judge. You're under arrest. What? You're here to help? Bruh. Then you're not under arrest. Thanks. These lagoons have been nothing but trouble. First, the water wasn't dreamy enough, then not clear enough. And now, they spew out devils and koalas and weird kicky bird things. We need to block these off best we can. You install barricades around these lagoons. I'll watch your back. All right. All these cops just want to arrest me immediately, bro. Hell. All right. Barricades. Here we go. There you go. Now you are safe. All right, let's put some here. Oh, look, something crawled right out right here. Help. Where the footsteps are. Help! We need help! Solid gold lounge, bro. People are rich, rich. Fly sandwich is too cold. It must be heated at once. Bruh. Mm, I don't care about monsters. I am your customer. I am always right. Bruh. Now come forth that I might slap some sense into you. I don't work here. What kind of gold this room is. Hey, you shield. Hey, you shield. Okay. Here you go. One fire dragon in your solid gold lounge. Three musketeer, I just ate so mid. Three musketeer is mid. Good. I killed him. I hope you learned your lesson. I was promised elite accommodation and treatment. This is barely bronze glass. True. I'm going to go demand my money back. Yeah, you do that. Although this is a cool room. <laughs> Alright, Judge Lawless. You're the wizard that arrested Ned Colley. Yeah, broker to deal, whatever. We're not brokering deals with these ghost monsters. You know what's weird? The Phantasas hate water. 
Kooky, right? They came out of water, but they sure do seem to avoid it afterward. I filled up some buckets from weird. a pump. If you hang those around the cabins, we should be able to repel the beasties from the other guests. Okay. Then you need to check on the admin offices. Mr. Kane is in there, and we haven't heard from him in a while. All right. Judge Lawless. Well, let's... There's a water bucket there. There's a midnight oil here. I need, I need my fix again. Midnight oil. All right. Place water bucket in Billabong Resort. I'm done with the midnight oils. I just have the golden waddles. I missed one in Outback, and that this one's coming soon. Yeah. Hates water. Hates water. Let me in. Let me in. There we go. You wretched, underformed, phantasmagorical curs! Leave Dang. my office post haste, or I will unleash my wrath upon thee! <laughs> Lowly creature. I would not sully my hands to thwart thee. This most recent of guests seems poised to do it for me. I will do. Mr. Kane. Bruh. Ah, the sun ones know this. Do the moon ones know this, or do they know a different one? Or am I just making it up? I'll see. I'll check. I'll take a look over here on my other screen. Apparently I had some dropped frames at some point. Did it happen again? No. Okay. Um, fan Tasmanian, right? Devil, yeah, yeah. Fan Tasmanian devil. Just like the Tasmanian devil, but it's Fan Tasmanian. Uh, Bruh, why is it going to be a bunch of... I don't care about Tasmanian. I want Fan... I misspelled it. Fan, Fan, Fan Tasmanian devil. There we go. Star. See what it has. Star is nice and cool. Just has a lot of damage, but you know, that's what you gotta deal with. Alright. Now we have Sun. Sun knows Sirocco. And Loremaster. Okay, yeah, that's pretty bad. And then I need the Moon. 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 No, what does Moon know? Or is it just high health? That was the problem. Bro, it will not show me the moon one. Felicitous timing, my most competent of compatriots. I mm -hmm. shall reward your daring do with one coupon for a discounted room oh, during wait. the off season. Never mind. Yeah, the moon one is just okay. I see. Yeah, the moon one is pretty bad, I guess. It can steal pips. It can put weakness. It can, it can steal blades. It just has high health, I guess. Okay. No, no. Do not weep with the joy of this boon. Tis but a triviality. Now, I must be off to lend my incalculable intellect to the resolving of this crisis. All right. See you, Mr. Kane. Cool room you got here. It's actually pretty lame. Lame room. Bro. I actually started loading websites. All 
All right, superior Raz, judge, Raz, judge, Raz, bro, judge Raza. Let's leave a mark here. Holy, some lag on my end because I started opening browser. Bro, what is loading? Bro, all right, go to this. There we go. Hello. I love the smell of victory in the morning. Smells like explosions. Victory? My good gracious judiciary. My resort is still practically overflowing with crazed cryptids. True. Perhaps it serves you right, old bean. Especially if this is your latest ploy against the eucalyptus forest. Oh, Miss Locke, you're still alive. Lovely. And none of those ploys, as you so curtly call them, have been proven. Mere accusations. Not more. Not more. Besides, if we're sending monsters to the eucalyptus forest, why are we stuck fighting them here, huh? I think we got us a common foe. True. Eh, we'll find out for sure tomorrow. We're launching what I like to call an explodition <laughs> down into the pipelines that feed the lagoons. I take it that would be an expedition that results in explosions. Sounds like it. You take correctly. I suggest you rest up at your camp. We'll come get you when the explodition begins. Paranoia activity. All right. Paranormal activity. All right. What does paranoia do again? Oh, just okay. It dispels you based on the um school pips that you have. Right, that's it, right? Yeah, then don't blade, okay. I won't be falling for this again. You're just another manipulator, seeking to use my fears to control me. Yes, I manipulate girl boss. Wait, no. I don't what no. What am I talking about? Oh Guys like gate girl boss. Honest face. Like that. You in fact have a face of lies. You're just like Manticore. Just like the others. You're all out to corrupt me. Oh. True. Alright, no blade. Low health. I can just double... Double faint. One hundred. Oh, it's just it's supercharged. I think. Bruh. Well, I mean, I can frenzy. I can kill practically next round. All right, we can kill. I mean, that's a hundred blade. Okay, a stupid lightning bats. Okay, but that's a lot of buffs on it. How much is it gonna do? <laughs> Two thousand six hundred. But okay, imagine if it was like if you waited another round, he would have destroyed. Me. All right, I think. Yeah, I think so. Huh? What's this? Lightning strike, bruh. Alright, bye bye. I said bye bye. Easy.
Are we all just the villains in each other's stories? It didn't get me the cutscene. What? It's supposed to be like the. Bro, bro, what? He's back. <laughs> it didn't give me the cool cutscene where it's the. Oh my, you do snore like a Grizzleheimer. Are you at least rested? Are we all just the villains in each other's stories? What do you mean I snore like a Grizzleheimer? I don't snore. Smashing. I think Judge Raza is ready for her. Um, explodition. <laughs> you should join her. All right, will do. We have yet to determine if Morp's beliefs are accurate, and these monsters are made by Mr. Kane. Though I wouldn't put it past him. I had the vision, he had the capital, and a ruthless streak I did not expect. He's tried multiple times to steal from the Pink Lake, mm. and he is foolish enough to unleash monsters on his own resort by mistake. In either event, the answers likely do lie in the pipeline. In the pipeline. All right, Judge Raza. Wait, that's why my port is set. <laughs> All right. Today's the day. Or night. Doesn't matter. This is where we separate the ruse from the joeys. Uh -huh. Many of you won't be coming back. There's only two of us. Mm hmm but to all of you who die, know you die in service of something greater than yourself. Mm -hmm. Know you die for salad bars. What? And spas. What? Oh, and right. golf courses. For lagoons and excessive markups. Okay. For towels that will never be returned. True. Know you die for a dream. Okay. My dream. Rather than uh -huh. he's the dream of Wallaroo as a significant economic power right. in the spiral. Is that not worthy of sacrifice? Okay, Mr. Key. Meh. Politics ain't my arena. This pipeline, though, is about to be. Mm -hmm. Come on, wizard. Let's go smear it with monsters. Will do. Enter Lagoon Pipeline. Everybody fan out. Something in here is causing these monsters and we need to find it. Wizard, you stay here as backup. If any of us yells out, you come running. Will do. Now let's go pass some judgment. Uh, something just dropped on me. I got it. I'm coming. Help. I'm coming already. Wizard, come running. I'm already on the way. So you have claws. I have firepower. Yep, I'm here. Fast. What are the Heck. blinking blue blazes are these? Killer wallas? Drop, Drop bears. bears. Really? But koalas aren't bears, wizard. That's taxonomical nonsense, I that know, is. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> See? It agrees. Now, let's send it back where it came from. Let's do it. All right. Frenzy. Yeah, yeah. Blocked. All right. Frenzy. And Fire Dragon.
So those are what attacked the drovers? You sure they weren't working together? They look a lot more drover than mm -hmm. Towney. My helmet! Oh, crikey, it's useless against their teeth! Somebody help me! Will do. Oh, she's always complaining about teeth. Okay. Go check on her. I'm going to find evidence of drover intrusion. Will do. Oh, good, the wizard is here. Go bite them instead! All right, let's fight. Phantasmanian devil. All right. Oh, raging bull. Yummy. I pull you the right one. The zero Pippo Poyo spell. That does 50 damage. <laughs> Kinda wacky. Eight thousand. All right, let's go. Oh, we just gotta fight. Ta, sorry about throwing you to the beasties there, but in the heat of the moment, I just thought, eh. Okay. Now this pipe is leaking, and the water looks weird. I'm not sure, mind, but I'd swear it was dream water. That can't be right, though, can it? King was only man. authorized to pipe in regular water. Where would he even get this much of the dream stuff? I'll keep That's weird. Here. You should go tell Roz about this. Will do. Pop a potion. See the lick. Water. 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 Give water. me all water. the water. Water. Give me all the water. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're Mr. Kane. Very, Very subtle. subtle. All the water. All the dreams. They are mine. My fuel, my feed, mine. That is unlawful impersonation. True. And the punishment for that is explosions. Wizard, want to stomp all over this metaphor? Will do. Is it a lick? Tiddlick, the frog who caused the flood. See about that, then? Ow, what the? Sorry. I was about to eat my mic. Right, Minotaur? Tale of Tiddalik the Frog in the creation story from Australian indigenous dreaming stones. The dreaming, also refers to as dream time, is a term devised by early anthropologists to refer to a religio religio cultural worldview attributed to Australian Aboriginal beliefs. The Legend of Tiddalik is not only an important story of the dream time, but has been the subject of popular modern children's books. In some Aboriginal language groups, Tiddalik is known as Molok. Alright. Fantastic. 
Let's faint. Not for the faint of heart. In the creation myth, Zinalik awoke one morning with an unsatiable thirst and started to drink until he had gulped down all the available fresh water. Creatures and plant life everywhere began to die due to lack of moisture. Other animals conspired against Zinalik and devised a plan for him to release all of the water he had consumed. This was successfully coordinated by a wise old owl. When Nubanum, the eel, made Zinalik laugh when he tied himself in comical shapes. As Zinalik laughed, the water rushed out of him to replenish the lakes, swamps, and rivers. Bro, can I fizzle? Let me fizzle. The story has been said to describe the water holding frog. Reno idea. Okay. From central Australia, the frogs burrow underground during dry periods and emerge during the rain to absorb large amounts of water, breed, and feed. This allows it to avoid desiccation, which is a state of extreme dryness during drought. Very interesting. Can I fizzle this, please? This allows it to avoid desiccation during drought, a trait not exhibited by most frogs. They were used by indigenous Australians during times of drought as a source of water. Okay. The story, this story is found in many places around Australia, but is often attributed to the Gunai Kurnai people of South Gippsland, Victoria, and has spread worldwide since first being published. Settle Lake is commemorated in a statue in Warwick, Queensland. Various versions of the story were recorded by amateur ethnographers in the late 19th century. Bro. Can I fizzle? This is bad. I need to fizzle. Bro, I need to fizzle. I'm running out of spells. I should've just kept feigning, because now I... Wait, let me fizzle. Bro, 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 bro. I need to fizzle. Fizzle this. Did I fizzle it? I don't know. I don't know if I've used enough treasure cards. Bro, bro, this is gonna kill me. Fizzle! I'm dead. My frenzy went through. I'm dead. Should I just kept fainting? Ouch. Bro. What? Come on, let's, let me do this fight, bro. Really? Really? I was just reading Tedlick lore. Then I die? Come on, man. All right. The lick. Come on, man. Gotta let me win this time. I don't want to keep reading the Lord. It's going to be painful if I fizzle early. As well. All right, let's try it again. And I can continue reading the lore. To the lick lore. All right, I go first. Amazing. All right, to the lick. T the lick. Sorry, T the lick. I keep calling him to the lick. That's not funny. That's not funny. In the original story, T the lick formed a areas bay, the areas bays, estuaries, inlets, and islands. The substance of the story has changed over time, with different animals being able to take to the lick to make Tidalic laugh, and many of the modern versions being dissimilar to those of the 19th century. The water-holding frog, described in modern times to Tidalic, is not found in the area of the legend's origin. 
it is likely that Tidalic either refers to a different frog or as a memory of time, 10,000 to 12,000 years ago, when the landscape was sufficiently different for the frog's range to extend to the South Gippsland. While the modern story had a happy ending, with water returned for all to use, the original ends in environmental disaster. The flood caused many to drown and others to be stranded on islands. Um, those stranded were rescued by Boron the pelican, with the end of the tale explaining how the pelican's feathers subsequently changed from all black to a mixture of black and white. Can I fizzle? Do I have death accuracy? Like, what is going on? Alright, I just read the entire Wikipedia page of Tidalic. Now I should move on to the section titled um, Dreaming. The Dreaming. Let's, let's start reading that. Ahem. I fizzled. Okay. Do not wolf me. Do not wolf. Give me that. Do not wolf. Thank you. Oh, this stuns me. <sighs> okay, at least not a wolf. Can I get a power? Oh, shadow bit? Okay, I'm gonna hit next. Okay. Both passed. Let's just pull. Maybe I'll read the dreaming next time. Since I think we're going to defeat this guy, maybe? Or it'll be close, at least. It was not close. That was not close. Um, I should have just trapped. Okay. It's alright. Also, the dreaming page is very long. I don't know what to read from it. Original beliefs and cultures? Maybe. Alright, let's start with this. A weak trap on me? That's not funny. That's not funny. Loki, if I get all tree if I got all tree traps on him and I don't fizzle, I just hit. I should be able to kill through the 90 shield even. Alright. That's not funny. That's not funny. Bruh. Nice. Hey, that meow already saved me. Rainbow Serpent. Alright. Fizzle. Bro. That's not funny. Okay, well, uh, it has one pip. Tita Lake has one pip. So maybe I frenzy. Hope I fizzle. If I don't, I just hit. What if I. No, okay. I know more mentals because I didn't single target. Bro. Okay, I'm gonna hit.
please. 5k. It's triple feigns it, and I have a frenzy up this time. Although there is a 90 shield. It's going to be a 40... 33 shield. But he also has resist. Okay, good. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Tidalik. That was a lucid dream. A physical manifestation of the dreaming. Ah, you can't blow those up. I've tried. Alright. And you say you saw dream water coming from the pipes. Ah, oh, is it that obvious? Are we that dense? Kane said he used food coloring in the lagoons. Well, if those monsters up there are dreams... Draining the lagoons will stop new ones from appearing. Just hit the valve over there. Yep, will do. Mr. Kane ain't gonna like this. Ugh. I'll deal with him. You should find Ms. Look. She helped build this place. Maybe she knows more than she's saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lousy politics. Should just arrest everyone. No, I don't think we should arrest everyone. Hell cop. I wish I could log out and it'll put me at Billabong Resort, but I think it'll throw me in Arcanum right now. So I have to walk all the way out. All right. Is the exit then? All right, Joan Luck. Yep, I drained it. So the lagoons were dream water after all. That madman actually did it. He drilled under the Great Barrier. That is crazy. I told you Keynes tried to steal from the Pink Lake. But it's worse than that. I helped him. That was my walkabout lesson. Whoa. Bring the dreaming to all. That's crazy. That's the appeal of Wallaroo. It's only appeal, some say. But the drovers rebuffed us, so we adapted. Uh, adapted you did? We couldn't bring the real dreaming to all, so brought the idea of it. We dyed regular water and called it dreaming. Corruption is a slow thing. It creeps upon you by mm -hmm. inches. My dream to share the source of my inspiration became a dream to profit from it. Yep. What would you pay to take a dip in the stuff dreams are literally made on? A lot, it turns out. Even for the placebo effect of our recolored pools. For Cain, it wasn't enough. He wanted the real thing. So stark was his greed, it highlighted my own. So I left and helped the drovers thwart him. Mm -hmm. But if he managed to slant drill beyond the Great Barrier and pump dream water straight here... That fool could spark a war. Come on. The key to lock. All right, leveled up. All right, what does lock? What does Mister Kane have to say? Oh, what is the vexation if I pilfered a small quantity of dream water from the infinite reserve of the drovers? Because we have a treaty to do exactly not that. This is the sort of thing that could lead to civil war. Is that not already transpiring? Those marauders on the avian steeds, are they not drover born? That's the emu war, brother. Could be they're behind these monsters, trying to take back the dreaming, even though it should belong to all of Wadaru. The emu riders are not allied with the drovers. They're attacking them as well. Attacking them with drop bears. Blast me for a fool! The answer is obvious. The emu riders are unleashing the monsters upon both groups. We must tell Morb at once. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Miss Locke, go play with your backward allies. I, I have, have dreams, dreams to, to sell. sell. Do not mistake me, Mr. Kane. Your unlawful exploits will be among my topics of discussion as well. True. All right, till you clip this forest. We return. Alright, we're traveling to Eucalyptus Forest. Alright, Joan Luck. Poor, poor wizard. wizard. No, no knowings. No, no hope. hope. Scaries attack the olds and the news. Why, why, why? The news? <laughs> That's easy. That's fair. <laughs> they takeies what ain't theirs to take. But the olds? What did they do? <sighs> Morp never tells. But you can brain right yourself. <laughs> Just jump in the lake. See the scaries what haunt them when the sand hits their eyes. Hey, Furiosa. John Lock, John, John Lock. The drop bears still appear to be in full force. Shutting down the resort's access to the dreaming didn't help. No, it wouldn't then, would it? The damage has been done, I'd say. The townies and their allies corrupted the dreaming then. Yet it is only the emu riders who benefit from these incursions. Or at least tame the beasts that caused them. But what is actually manifesting them? What is actually manifesting We them? saw Freddy Croker trying to create a projection of himself from Dreamwater. Maybe he's making monsters for the riders. Hey now, Maybe. that's missing the point, mate. It's not just one outsider. It's the townies that invite them. They're the problem. Always. Always have been. The lead rider told you to jump in a lake for answers? Mm-hmm. Some feuds transcend time and reason. But the dreaming remembers. Be mindful, wizard. Will do. All right, next time we'll hop in the lake and figure out what is going on. Thank you for watching this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.